Hello, Pokemon Masters, Bucky Toby here, and I want to fight. I want to battle. It's the Wants to Battle tag, a tag video that I do every single year since the very launch of the channel back in 2015. A little getting to know me type tag video, but it has a secondary purpose, which is you. I want to get to know you, whether you are an existing Pokemon creator, whether you're an up and comer, or maybe you're considering starting yourself. I want you to see this video as your invitation to begin if you're not sure where to start. Because the questions in this tag are designed to kind of be a little get to know you introduction type video thing anyway and for those of you who are already creating content like myself it's a little bit of an update on the channel and where we're at and where we're going and if you send me a link to your wants to battle tag video either over twitter or over email or through the uh, community discord that we have discord.gg forward slash birdkeepertoby there will be a whole uh, channel specific specifically for the wants to battle tag if you send me that link to your video before the new year and it has to be before the new year then i will put them into a playlist which will be on the front page of my channel so hopefully just allowing a little bit more discoverability of new creators and I want to discover new creators. I want to see what's going on out there in the Pokemon community in 2021 going into 2022. So this year I have six questions for you. They are all written in the description as well as well as a link to the little logo that you can put onto your thumbnails and that kind of thing. And with that being said, let's begin the Wants to Battle Tag 2021. Starting with question number one. Do you or will you have a channel mascot? This doesn't have to be a Pokemon, but typically in the Pokemon community, it is. Certainly back in 2015, it was all the rage to have a channel mascot, one Pokemon that really represented your channel. When I started, I definitely didn't have a channel mascot. Mega Pidgeot kind of became that though over the course of the first year. Then when Sun and Moon was announced, Pidgeot flew away and Rowlet came in. Then somewhere in the channel's history, Snorlax kind of became the mascot, but I was like, no, I'm Bird Keeper Toby, so I'm gonna need to have a bird Pokemon and Hoot Hoot sort of became the channel mascot as well. But as of right now, no, Bird Keeper Toby does not have a channel mascot. If I was going to have to pick a new mascot today, I, and I've thought about this a lot, um, I would juggle somewhere between maybe like Swablu because I think it's really cute and I think it fits in really well with the feeling of, you know, soft cloud like. Uh, that's just my channel. Soft, cloud-like, sleepy, team snooze. It fits all of the boxes. But I also really love Porygon, and I love the aesthetic of Porygon, and it is also technically a bird in its shape. So Bird Keeper Porygon, and it fits in with the whole YouTuber theme and the fact that I am a 90s kid. So yeah, no channel mascot just yet. Maybe after Legends Arceus comes out, I'll do a whole rebrand, but it's been seven years without a full-time channel mascot, so maybe that's just not going to happen here. Number two, what is the best video you have made this year slash the video you are most looking forward to making and uh, this year I've had kind of two big wins for me though I realize they're not actually two videos they span over a much greater period of time uh, with number one of course being the whole Pokemon Tempest series I have been working on this series since this time last year it was uh, December 24th 2020 was the first day I began working on Pokemon Tempest and so to get this super long mega series out 20 episodes which of course the final episodes are heading your way pretty soon. The whole thing is a Pokemon epic. It's definitely the most costly series that I've ever had to make. It is the, the most expansive thing. All of the fake mon, all of the art, all of the animation, all of the scripting, the voice acting, getting everyone involved. It's actually been huge to kind of be putting this together behind the scenes over the course of the last year. And I am so, so proud of it. It's not like the most viewed thing on the channel, but there is a consistent audience of like 10 to 15 to 20,000 people who are watching these episodes every week. And they're just going to be there for Forever, with more people getting to enjoy the series and that just means so much to me thank you for enjoying it I've loved making it and the other one is I did get a chance this year to film some live action videos in an escape room at escape exit bath so far you've seen two of them you've seen the shame in video and the dark cry video but the Arceus video well you can guess that that's gonna be coming out pretty soon but isn't quite there yet and it's always fun to get to do something live action I'm hoping to do much more of that stuff next year number three just a little personal Personal preference one, what would you prefer to come out next? An Ilka created uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver in the same style as Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, or a Legends Unova game by Game Freak? For me, it would have to be Legends Unova because as much as I love Heart Gold Soul Silver, and I know it's been ages since we visited the Johto region, the idea of getting new lore in like quite immersive new lore, which looks like what we're gonna get with Legends Arceus, I, a, a Legends Unova game 
it writes itself. The ancient past of Unova, the twin heroes, the twin kings, the abyssal ruins, and then the desert ruins. It, I would love to see it. Question four, what can your viewers expect from you next year? And it's a weird one because usually at this time of year, every year, I would then take a little bit of a break uh, for the new year and I'd relaunch sometime in January. I can't really do that this year because Legends Arceus is out at the end of January and I want to make that content. So for me, that break, which by the way, it was very much needed right now. I have a lot of things going on in my life, which I'll tell you about in a moment. What I'm going to do is I think mid February. So just a little bit after Legends Arceus comes out, once that kind of initial hype period has died down, I'm going to take a break for a couple of weeks. Maybe I'll come back on Pokemon day. I don't know whether I'll come back with like five new videos for the new year or whatever, or whether I'll just start taking it slowly. I want to go down to what I did at the beginning of last year, which is actually just six videos a month, which is much less than I've been producing lately. The idea being that we've done the quantity thing, you know, we've been pumping out videos left, right and center. Now let's really focus on quality and improving the, vi the video quality again and seeing what I can learn and what new skills I can get. I also think it's time for me to reintroduce The Legend of Zelda to the channel. So maybe one or two of those six videos a month will be Legend of Zelda theories. And I'm gonna just do it and give it a go because I really want to do that. I've been excited about it. I've been making thumbnails for ages. I think I have a unique take that other Zelda YouTubers don't have, which is that before I was doing Bird Keeper Toby, I was making Legend of Zelda theories and the whole Zelda community with theories and the Hyrule Historia and how it's all changed over time. I wanna show you some old school theories. It's gonna be a whole thing. And of course, I'll just be sitting pretty waiting for the announcement of Generation 9, which I expect to not be in the too far future or DLC or whatever gets announced. So really, I think it's going to be a little bit busy until about mid-February. Then I'll take a break. And then with Pokemon Day, I'll come back and we'll just be taking it slowly, but surely focusing on quality, focusing on passion projects and slowly building up to whatever will inevitably come at the end of next year. Number five, we're going to talk about that busyness. Uh, what, has there been any big milestones for you this year? And there's two for me. Number one was obviously reaching or getting close to reaching. I'm not sure when this video comes out because I'm filming it a little bit ahead of time. A quarter of a million subscribers, 250,000. That is absolutely huge. I know it's not a million, it's a quarter of a million, but the fact that I can say the sentence that has the word a million in and it doesn't sound too ridiculous. I have a tenth of a million of subscribers. I got a quarter of a million subscribers. That's huge. Thank you. You just make me feel so validated in what I'm doing. You make my job feel so worthwhile. It is huge, but actually the even bigger achievement has been this channel has allowed me to buy a house or buy half a house. Me and my best friend Falcone hosts have just bought a house together. Of course, I will be living there with uh, The Last Shaman. I don't think by the time this comes out, you'll have seen much of it. There's a lot of setup that needs to be done. The new office, all of that stuff. And again, that'll be kind of ushering in the new year, uh, whether it'll be before Legends Arceus or after Legends Arceus, uh, you're gonna get to see the house. There's gonna be a house tour. There'll be a new year update when we get there. Between us, we are a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, an artist and an animator. And we're gonna be able to just really focus on helping each other out and making the best quality content possible. And then number six, my favorite part of this tag and what I'm really hoping to get from a lot of you is name a creator who has less subscribers, less viewers than you, who you think is absolutely amazing amazing who deserves to be being watched more. And for this, I have two recommendations, both of which are linked in the description. Number one is Falcone Host. I'm actually going to link you to his Twitch where he does live Nuzlocks. We'll be starting a podcast probably in the new year. Um, not quite sure when, but given that we've known each other for well over a decade, we've been best friends the whole time. He's gone off and done his Twitch um, and online creating journey. And I've gone off and done my online creating journey with YouTube. We've got so many different things that we can talk about, um, but we will be live streaming probably over on his Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Falcone host where he plays more than just Pokemon, though he is doing his first few Nuzlocks over there right now and is setting an example for me to start doing Nuzlocks. But you know, you also see us playing other things like Halo, Among Us, Crab Game, whatever else is the flavor of the week. And the other creator I really want to shout out is one of you, a community member, someone who's been a Patreon for a really long time, Nick Charles, who's recently just started his new Pokemon series on improving Pokemon gyms. You can see the amount of effort and quality and time that is going into these videos. And uh, Nick, he has just, just under a, subscri a thousand subscribers. And I'm really 
hoping we can change that. So if you need a new Pokemon YouTuber you to watch, do go check him out, watch him, and show him some support. And finally, question thing number seven, tag three people. This is where you've got to tag three people. You want to see who their recommendations are, who they've been watching, learn more about their channel. This is it. I'm going to start off with a bang, though, by tagging a bunch of people. Let's start with Hoops and Hip Hop, True Green 7, Loxton, Virtually Marty, Ace Trainer Liam, PD Whittle, a Candy Eevee, Emperor Cubone, MNJ TV, Nick Charles, uh, Little Miss Houndoom, who is also a fantastic creator. You should absolutely go and check out what she's doing. Link's description, of course. And of course, Falcone, uh, I'm not a full-time PokerTuber, but I'd love to see you do a Wants to Battle Tag variant. And yeah, with that, you know, support smaller creators. Let's get this tagged and sent out. I'm tagging big creators because I want them to tag more people that they enjoy watching so that hopefully this just keeps on networking out to more and more creators. I will, as long as I get the links again over email, over Twitter, or in the Discord, discord.gg. That's the most ideal place. There will be a whole uh, Discord chat just for the Once to Battle tag. As long as I get it before the new year, I'll add it to the playlist and that playlist will be on the front page of my channel. And in the description, you can find the Once to Battle tag graphic as well as of course all of the questions thank you all for watching um i will see you across december with new content thank you for watching and of course so high pokemon masters this is ash ketchup you just watched a video by bird keeper toby that makes you a pokemon master i still just can't get over how much love this channel has thank you for the support of my patrons and especially the big patrons of the month jd gotlich michael horn chupoki atmos stefan peters Pokey bliss and jed rubin thank you